The liars of CNN are at it again. This time, one of their DNC operatives, Jim Shudo, a guy who used to work for Barack Obama as a political appointee, chose to attack Republicans as hypocrites for not opposing Trump's national emergency to secure the border. Shudo's rationale for calling Republicans hypocrites is that when his boss, Barack Obama, was president, Republicans, and specifically this Republican, opposed him and declaring a national emergency to pass new strict gun laws. Listen, you, you've done your homework. You've you done it w wearing the uniform. You went down to the border. I, I, I respect your position. I do want to note that you, like many Republicans, when President Obama used executive authority without congressional approval, you opposed it. When has CNN or any of the other networks ever called Democrats out for their hypocrisy? Or for that matter, when has the media ever called themselves out for their blatant hypocrisy? Of course, CNN nor anybody else in the media outside of Fox News ever opposed Obama's national emergencies. I actually found a CNN article about Obama's national emergency to pass stricter gun laws, and the headline reads, Emotional Obama calls for sense of urgency to fight gun violence. The first paragraph goes on, President Barack Obama grew emotional Tuesday as he made a passionate call for national sense of urgency to limit gun violence. That's a pretty far cry from what we're seeing from CNN now in regards to Trump's national emergency. If you read the article, and I'll link it in the description, there's not a single negative critique about Obama's use of the national emergency. Of course, CNN didn't oppose Obama's national emergencies, nor did anybody else in the media outside of maybe Fox News. In fact, their negative coverage was reserved for critics of Obama's executive order on guns. But this guy Shudo gets to operate in a bubble where he never has to answer for his hypocrisies or the hypocrisies of the Democrat Party. Luckily, Illinois Rep Adam Kinzinger was having none of it. Quote from you in 2014 when the president uh, was considering executive action on guns. You said, time and again, the president, this being Obama, has chosen to push his authoritative agenda with little regard for constitutional process. Why? is the president not doing exactly what you criticized President Obama for? Because you can't change a law on guns or immigration with the stroke of a pen. If, I, if somebody was trying to change a law, that would be a very different situation than a president saying, I'm declaring a national emergency on the border. I'm not appropriating new money out of thin air. I'm actually switching resources from things like DOD counter drug to actually fighting drugs on the border through this emergency order. As Congressman Kinzinger correctly points out, the reasons for opposing Obama's national emergencies were completely different. They're not at all comparable. Obama can't just pass laws with the stroke of a pen, especially laws that are spelled out in the Constitution. As anybody who took a civics class knows, laws start out as a bill, and then they have to be passed through the House and the Senate. Oh, but it looks like I'm going to live now. I go to the House of Representatives, and they vote on me. If they vote yes, what happens? Then I go to the Senate, and the whole thing starts all over again. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Shudo must know this, but he's using his position as a DNC operative to try and discredit Republicans who might still be supporting Trump. He wants Republicans to come around to his point of view and oppose the national emergency. These are not the acts of an objective journalist. These are the acts of a propagandist. President Trump is actually using the national emergency for what it was meant to be used for. In this case, to defend our national borders. With news breaking today that in February, more than 76,000 illegals crossed our border, it's kind of hard to argue that there isn't a crisis. I mean, even the left-wing news outlets like the New York Times and the Washington Post are now admitting that, quote, the system is well beyond capacity. It's focused on things that are a threat to the American people. Is there always consistency among Republicans and Democrats? No, that's something we have to accept. But in terms of what I say and what I see, I think it is consistent to oppose a president that would attempt to change a law versus a president that would attempt to take existing resources and enforce a board, thing like border security. Congressman Adam Kinzinger, thanks for joining us. What? He didn't have anything to say in retort? Well, that's probably because his little attempt to discredit this Republican just blew up in his face. I'm not even sure why he would attempt to make this comparison when they're clearly two different situations. The simple answer is that that's just his job at CNN. He's a Democrat, he's a left-winger, and a former Obama political appointee. His job is to advance a DNC agenda and to torpedo any opposition. I think that's pretty clearly what we're seeing happen here. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in some open discussion and debate, check out my Discord channel. You can find a link in the description and the pinned comment. Hope to see you there. Thanks.